Just got home from work, everybody. New thermal gasket on there, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt on the manifold today. Look at the valves. I don't know if you guys can see down there, but there's the ports right there. The valves actually look, they seem to be in decent shape, but I gotta get all this crud off out of here and all this junk. I'm gonna go ahead and cover these ports up like so. Do that for all them guys just to be safe. All right, look at the difference, guys. The whole mating surface is clean. All I need to do now is take the paper towels out of the intake port. So I'm just gonna clean this off and reuse this, guys. So I don't recommend reusing it. Um, I recommend if you're gonna use it, get a new one, but I'm just being cheap. All right, guys, all cleaned up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this one on the inner side and then I'm gonna run the thermal gasket right over this one. A lot of people are gonna ask me what this thing actually does and the best answer I can give you guys is that it pretty much helps with heat transfer, dissipating the heat from the manifold to the actual block. So you're getting kind of like a little bit cooler air. I don't know how effective this is, but I have a feeling that it's gonna help with my intake air temps. Over that, like that, everything lines up. Let me get the manifold on. Manifold is looking absolutely gorgeous right there. Cleaned off everything, the throttle body. I got the new gasket on there right there. All I need to do is put my fuel injectors in, but a lot of you guys always want me to do like a uh, reinstallation on a part. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much show you how to torque the intake manifold properly so that you don't really have any leaks because that's an important step. Probably wondering how to torque the intake manifold nuts. Well, what you're gonna do, you're gonna start in the middle. You're gonna start in the middle, then you're gonna do a crisscross. So for the torque, it's gonna be 16 pound feet of torque, guys. You're gonna start off with the tops. So you can either do this one or this one, work your way down, hit that bolt, come across to this bottom bolt, then come up, cross all the way down to the bottom one, up, bottom, and just crisscross. So you're probably not gonna be able to get a torque wrench in to hit this bolt right here on the corner. So just tighten it by hand with like a ratchet wrench. Go with what you think is good. Hand tight, should be good. All right, guys, everything is on pretty much, manifold-wise. I got the injector harness back on with the injectors, the rail, injectors, fuel clips. All I need to do now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my P2R throttle body spacer on, and then I can get the throttle body on. I'm gonna have two spacers for my throttle body because I've been running it with one for a while. getting super dark the only thing I need to do I have everything assembled right here let me get a light for you guys everything is assembled all I need to do now is add some coolant because I did leak a lot out of the block but everything looks so much better got the two gaskets on the throttle body spacer now and hopefully everything runs decent I'm kind of worried about the o-rings on the fuel injectors I reused the old ones so I guess we're gonna see how everything works. I'm just gonna top off the radiator right now and then I'll start the car, bleed out the system like that. I don't know if you guys could see me. This is the most nervous part, guys. Always the startup to make sure and see if you did the job right and see if you have any check engine lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime the system. I'm so nervous right now. system, but I'm going to turn the heat on the max. 